you've done something that most other people haven't done. You've showed that you have the requisite mastery to go back to zero and redo it again. Mm. So the, uh, the meaning of 80 for you as a Moses, and it's interesting, the one segment that you had playing here, kind of randomly, but it's never random in a prophetic thing, was you talking about Moses. Then you leaned over and said, listen to me preach. Because you were preaching about <laughs> Moses crossing over. And that's when I thought, Mo, he was preaching then his message he'd hear at 80. And Moses was 80 when he went and did that very thing. Oh. This, uh, this moment right now, if I was watching, I'd say, Lord, I want to be able to be yes. a voice. Because the Spirit of the Lord wants the church to discover its voice again. The real sad thing about prophets is they exist, but they've been reduced to kind of personal word entities. You have a word for me, a word for me. If you, I stopped telling people I was a prophet and started teaching and, and, and backed up from it. Because if you want to say something, people have a short attention span. If they know you're prophetic, they disengage after 15 minutes. They get eye contact they want you to prophesy. Right. But what the Spirit of the Lord is saying is every believer here has a signature sound. My telephone, it's always frustrating, like Siri thinks I'm asking it for help. It's like, yeah, no, it's like, I'm not talking to you. Your voice literally activates the environment around you. Mm -hmm. Your voice right now has the power to activate angels that are, that are moving in the atmosphere. When Daniel was praying, who prayed in Cyrus into power, who interceded a transition, the angel came and said, I've come because of your words. There's a signature sound that the church has, which has got to be released. There's a fresh impulse of the prophetic voice that God wants to come in the airways. And as these prophets speak, it's not just to individual words of knowledge about your doctor's this, your age is that, because at some point in time, that's, that's actually not the primary function of a prophet. Prophets speak to the identity of nations. Prophets speak to the identity of movements and people. Wow. Right. You're called to speak again to the identity of the United States and to the nations because Jesus was promised nations for his inheritance, not just random souls in mission fields. That's right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so they, I say that this 80th year is a great time for us to connect with, I want my signature sound, I want my voice to be able to unlock the angelic activity so that I can go where I've got to go. Yes. I want to be able to have the uh, ability to pray and say what the Spirit of God is saying and not fear the faces of man or worry about the consequences. That's, right. That's what connected me to you. Your passion for saying something was stronger than your marketing instincts on whether it would be marketable. You just went for it. And that's the prophetic disposition of an end time people. That's the spirit of Elijah, who regardless of whether it's Jezebel and Ahab as an audience or what it is, they must speak what the word of the Lord is. This is a great 80th, this coin for me, is a way to sow into the vision of the voice of the prophets network and actually say, I want that year, 5780, pay. I want this to be the year that my voice is released. I want to be able to be an oracle, to speak what the Spirit of God is saying. 